how do salespeople burn sales leads every single day in the world of sales? I'm Scott Silverbell. It's November 5th, 2017, 9.13 in the morning here in Las Vegas, Nevada. Perfect day to talk about sales and a perfect day to talk about how salespeople waste money in advertising and, and lead setting every single day of the year. This is video number six. And you know, what it comes down to is a lot of times when salespeople are struggling, they start doubting their product, they start doubting their service, they start doubting their company, their management, the team that they work with, and they start thinking like, hey, this guy over here or that girl over there has got a much better product, and I'm gonna let you know that if you have that fear, you're projecting it to your buyer. You're, you're putting it into your conversation. And you know, every single day of me working with salespeople from the front of the room or riding with a salesperson to a sales call has taught me that Salespeople, what happens is they're driving to the call and they're like, oh, I hope I don't hear, want to, I don't hear, I want to think about it. But because they, that's the fear that they had, well, they talk the buyer into circles around wanting to think about it. Well, the same thing happens when you have doubt in your product or in your service or in your company, you're going to slip and you're going to say stuff and you're going to say things that, that just don't make sense. And the buyer may look at it and be like, mm. they put everything together like a puzzle, like a bunch of clues. And then they say, yeah, you know what? Uh, I think I'm going to think about it or I'm going to get other bids or I'm going to talk to other people. It's not usually your price is too high. It's usually a different objection. And that objection is really saying you as a salesperson talk the buyer into the objection. You, you're burning a sales lead. Now, a lot of the industries that I work in, in order to get the phone to ring one time from a marketed lead costs between four and six hundred dollars. And so, you know, a lot of the guys that I work with run three leads a day. That's that's a twelve uh, a twelve to sixteen hundred dollar swing on the cost of lead acquisition, the cost of uh, getting a client. And if your head isn't into the game and you're worried about your product, your service, you know your widget, your gizmo, the company that you work for, it's going to be. It, it can be. It may be. It may be tougher for you to close deals. So you know the question is. So what do I do? How do I get past this feeling and this emotion? Well, the the question is is where did it come from? What caused it? Right? Was it a, a meeting with a manager? Was it a, a manager that caused it? Was it somebody that said something to you? Was it a bunch of bad reviews? What's going on in your life? You know, a lot of times when I see somebody struggling in the sales world, they're having problems in their own life with a girlfriend, a boyfriend, that's a money issue, right? And you know, this is what normally happens. I see this a lot where somebody has a product or service that's more expensive than the others, and because they don't have money in the bank, they would decide to go with another vendor, right? So in their mind, they're looking around, they're like, we're all the same. I knew a couple of sales guys who would say this. Oh, we're all the same. We don't do anything different. Well, you know, want to know how their sales went? They didn't sell anything because they couldn't, they didn't have the proof in their mind of why they were better. So here's the thing, sit down and write down why you work for a better company, why you have a better product, why you have a better solution. And, you know, write down the objections to, to the one side of it, of what come from that, because you're probably getting caught up in those objections, right? And I got to let you know, it doesn't matter what you sell. It doesn't matter what you do. Somebody is always willing to do it for cheaper, but there's always a cost. There's always a cost to cheaper. You know, explain away what that cost is. And a lot of companies that I work with, they're really good companies and they have warranties and guarantees above the manufacturer. And in the industries that I work in, that's not always normal. You know, there's a plenty of people who talk the game, but they don't live up you know, when there is a problem, they just kind of run away. You know, it was interesting. One of the companies that I work with uh, in California, in Sacramento, there was over 30 degrees of 100 degrees this summer. Okay, and uh, one of the phone centers place was busy, and what it was was there was people calling and saying, "Hey, the company who did the work for me won't come back and honor the warranty because there's no money in it." And like this happened daily. They were getting phone calls, and so you know that's that's proof for you. If you're sitting down with with a buyer and they're like, "Well, I'm going to go with XYZ company," and you're like, "Well, wait a minute. You know, you might not be getting everything." that you think that you are on paper it looks the same but let's talk through this right but i see too many salespeople fold and they burn the sales lead because they get caught up in what the other companies are doing or because they don't have money in the bank or there's something wacky going on in their life so how do salespeople burn sales leads daily they don't believe in their product or service there you go now if you could do a small favor for me in the box down below leave a comment question or story that'd be fantastic to the right, to the left, there is a subscribe button. You know what you gotta do, you gotta subscribe. And then last of all, you can send it out to all your friends via StumbleUpon, Facebook, Twitter, Google+. Why not even LinkedIn? Scott Sullivan Bell. We'll see you soon. Thanks for watching, aloha.